want to answer some of the questions you've sent in via email. This first one, Gordon, comes from McKenna, who says, I'm almost 16 years old. When I was younger, complete strangers would walk up to my mom and tell her that God had a special plan for me. I used to be so close to him, and I would talk to him all the time. But when I was 11, I really started to become distant, and I've lost my relationship with God. I've been to rehab three times, foster care twice, and I'm there currently. And I've been in multiple placements in mental hospitals for behavioral issues and suicidal attempts. I need God back in my life. I pray, but I feel he never listens or answers. How can I redevelop a strong relationship with God and most importantly, find out what his plan for me is? Well, McKenna, my heart just goes out to you. Um, I, 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 you know, when, I, when I'm hearing the question, I go, well, what are you in rehab for? What, what are the underlying issues? Why are you in foster care? You know, had a mother and, you know, what, what are the underlying factors here? But just, uh, in terms of your relationship with God, you have to hold on to that and hold on to the promise. And it's a promise for you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. It's a double promise that he's there. He hasn't gone away. And you can be in relationships sometimes where they're still there, but they've forsaken you. And in their heart, they're far away from you. And God's promise, I will never do that. I will never leave you nor forsake you. That's a promise for you. If you want to hear from God, the easiest way to do it is to open the Bible and read it. I would encourage you to do that daily, multiple times a day. Let the Word of God shape your thinking so you no longer think a way that's contrary to Scripture. When you do that and you fill your life with the words of the prophets, with the inspired word of God, then all these issues uh, fade away and you'll start to hear his voice again. Here's a prayer for you. It's from the Apostle Paul that he, he asked God to open the eyes of your understanding. Ask him to open your ears that you could hear his word. Ask him to give you a heart that you may comprehend the greatness of his power towards us who believe. Pray that and he will answer. We leave you these words from Psalm, O oh Lord my God, I cried out to you and you healed me. God bless you. We'll see you again.